thank you for joining me on my channel today. We are at Disneyland and California Adventure today for the holidays. I did a ton of research, so hopefully you don't have to do any after watching this video. I'm gonna be talking about candy canes, gingerbread, sip and saver, parades, shows, all the things. So let's get started on this day. So it is currently just about 7.30 here at Disneyland. Um, I did, well, we're gonna be doing rope drop, but I am in front of Market House right now. The line is pretty short. This is one of the locations that the Gingerbread Mickeys will be sold, as well as Jolly Holiday, the Grand Californian, and over at DCA. Also at Fiddler, Pfeiffer, and Practical, so that's exciting. <laughs> so if you want to get one, you can mobile order at 7 a.m. or try to mobile order at 7 a.m. over at Jolly Holiday, so that should make it a little bit easier. Something else that doesn't start until December is the handmade candy canes, and those you can get at the Candy Palace and at Trolley Treats. So depending on which park you are but I'm gonna put a little uh, graphic down below to show you the dates because it is specific dates so make sure that you get the right park if you are looking to get candy canes now the way that that works is that you're gonna be getting in line about 730 in front of the shop and they'll put you on a little wait list and text you when it is your turn to go get the candy cane last year you had I believe 20 minutes to get there in order to get it and it's one per guest and you have to be present so keep that in mind and I believe they were $20 last year so I'll show that to you as well, but that is absolutely worth it. If you're gonna be here, definitely do that. Coming into Market House now, we're gonna grab some coffee and some gingerbread Mickeys. Oh my goodness, y'all. Look at these cups. Ah, those are so cute. Okay, now I get a close up here. Wow, so cute. And these ones are really cute too. Oh my gosh, they have so many many options and oh, look at this one I know a few people that like this one a gingerbread Mickey So this is one of the locations for the handmade candy canes and again those are on specific dates in December only so make sure that you double check whether it's Disneyland or California Adventure that has those candy canes when you make your reservation to be sure that you don't miss out. It's almost time for rope drop. The crowds aren't terrible right now. They usually get pretty bad after 10 a.m. It's a little bit breezy today. But this isn't too bad for the holiday season. It did just get started. It's going to get busier as the month goes on. It's time! Season's greetings, everyone. <laughs> This is Jolly Holiday where you can get one of the gingerbread Mickeys and there's no line for some reason. I'm gonna check it out. Right now there's no line at Jolly Holiday because they are not currently open. They're having iPad issues or tablet issues. So they are saying they'll be open at 1030 today. So that is uh, an unforeseen thing. Some people that have ordered gingerbread Mickeys are not able to get them right now. So yeah, let's go look at some merch. Look at these jammies. Oh my goodness, I love this little one piece. Look at this hat, how cute is this? Goodness, look at this sparkly lounge fly. How cute, and it's got a little gingerbread. All the cups are here too. Some baking supplies, a cake mold, and some cookie cutters. Oh, look at this. How cute. And then a little advent calendar here with milk chocolate. More Star Wars goodies over here. These cute little Crocs. Oh my goodness. Love that. These are really tasty chocolate bars. Got these last year. All kinds of different flavors. Good stocking stuffers. Got some jammies. Look at this, the merriest place on earth. Look at this little like arts and crafts set. It's got some washi tape and stickers, pens. Very cute. Oh, I see it's to make cards. That's cute. It's a new bubble wand. These are adorable. Look at these jammies. How cute is that? And then there you go, some more plates. It's a milk and, milk and cookies for Santa set. How cute. Oh, 
Look how cute this train set is. I'm in front of Market House right now and it's 825. The line does not go outside of the building, um, but it does wrap around. And I have seen some people that I've been kind of uh, keeping an eye on that have been in line for 30 minutes and are not quite even at the front yet. So uh, it probably will take a little while if you're looking to uh, get your gingerbread Mickey's from here. I would recommend getting here early. I've got all my treats on mobile order that will be ready in about an hour and a half, two hours. So in the meantime, I'm gonna go check out It's a Small World Holiday. I'm gonna go check out It's a Small World Holiday. So I'm gonna go see what the line looks like. It's 8.30 a.m. right now. Uh, the crowds are very light right now. So if you wanna get on some rides or get things done very quickly, I recommend getting here at Rope Drop. It definitely makes a huge difference. Here's what the crowds look like right now at 8.30 in the morning. So it's not too bad. Pictures in front of the castle. So if you are looking for the musical popcorn bucket, they do have one right behind me here at the popcorn cart, right next to where you take pictures in front of the castle here. I'll put a little uh, picture down below which one this is called, but I just saw somebody getting that popcorn bucket. So if you wanna get it early, it's 8.30 a.m. right now and they're already open. So if you wanna get one, I guess there are a few popcorn carts that open early. So I just got my picture taken in front of the castle. Right now they do have a stage set up, so it was in a different location than normal. But it is, let's see, about 8.40 a.m. and I'm gonna head over to a um, holiday. It's a small world holiday. So let's go check that out and see what the wait time is at this time in the morning. Taking the route that goes right beside the Matterhorn bobsleds here. I've got the castle over here on my left and Tomorrowland over here on my right. So there's this little pathway that's a little bit less crowded rather than going through Fantasyland. All right, so turning left here. We'll head down this little pathway. We're gonna go right next to Alice in Wonderland. And there are some restrooms here on the left. Those are some of my favorite restrooms. <laughs> and you can see off in the distance, it's a small, small world is right there. They have a lighting ceremony later this evening. And I'll put the times for everything in the description so you can see exactly what time to plan your day. And if you wanna see a lighting ceremony, I believe the It's a Small World lighting and the tree lighting are at the same time, so on different sides of the park here at Disneyland. We're gonna be meeting Mickey, oh my goodness. So exciting. I just got to meet Mickey Mouse. Got my picture taken. And now I'm finally heading over to It's a Small World holiday, which right now has a five minute wait. It's almost nine o'clock. So again, rope drop is amazing. You get here and you get on everything without yeah, having to worry about waiting. <laughs> Let's go. Happy holidays, it's a small world. Almost nine o'clock. Go and there's almost no line. I got sent to this side and there's nobody waiting over here. I'm so excited. <laughs> it's the little things in life. Music's going. Here we go. <laughs> You're gonna love this. There's another popcorn cart here that is open a little earlier and so this one is located near it's a small world so if you're looking for one of those musical tins they do that have them here before 10. it's 9 20 right now and it's open look at the decorations here in new orleans oh my goodness how pretty gosh i cannot wait until dark everything is all lit up it's gonna be beautiful this cute little photo spot. Oh my gosh, this is right next to where you get off of the Pirates of the Caribbean ride when you go through the little gift shop here. You just come out and bam, cute little photo spot. Nightmare Before Christmas. Adorable. So cute. I love it. So we have the Haunted Mansion holiday, which is a 30 minute wait right now and it's almost 10 o'clock, it's 9.40. So that's actually not too bad. Okay, so now I'm gonna take the walk over to the Santa Claus spot so I can show you where that is located. And it's right next to Pooh Corner and right around from Splash Mountain. Let's go take a look. So here is the Hungry Bear restaurant and we're going right past Splash Mountain, down this pathway here. And down at the very, very end is where we're gonna find the 
Santa spot. So let's go down and check it out. I'm here on a Wednesday and Santa is scheduled to be here at 1130. Just double check on the app what time Santa is supposed to be there for you so you don't miss out and you can line up ahead of time. This is where Santa is going to be. Very cute spot. Here we are at Pooh Corner and they've got a lot of the treats over here. And this is right next to the Santa spot. So you can see lots of holiday treats here. I see some from last year, some new ones. Got cake pops and cupcakes. Lots of goodies. Marshmallows covered in chocolate. Mm. The new popcorn, Christmas cocoa popcorn. It does have marshmallows in it too. So cute. Jack hot cocoa bombs. Look how cute are those. And a little cocoa set here. Different flavors it looks like. And then we've got the advent calendar again and the chocolates. And that seasonal popcorn. Santa! You can have one. You can have one. Here he is! Time for Santa! I got to be first in line to meet Santa! Okay, so I came over here to the Santa spot to show you guys, and it said on the app 11.30, but he actually got here at 10 o'clock. So it's worth it to check it out and see around that time to see if maybe he's gonna get there early. If you start seeing people clean up and maybe the photographer hanging around, he's coming soon. So just be around. Definitely an awesome experience getting to meet him first. All right, now I'm on the way to Royal Street Veranda right next to Pirates of the Caribbean. I'm gonna get the cranberry fritters with orange dipping sauce. Pirates over there. Over here is the Royal Street Miranda. Thank you so much. Okay, so I'm at the Royal Street Miranda and I got the cranberry fritters. Look how pretty. Let's open these up and I've got some orange dipping sauce. Ooh, messy already. <laughs> oh, it's gonna spill everywhere if I show you. So let me just dip. Let me open this up for you. Ooh, that looks so good. There's actually cranberries inside. Okay, let's taste it. Oh yeah, those are delicious. Sweet, but not too sweet. Definitely that cranberry flavor and the orange dipping sauce is really nice. Not too sweet, a little bit of orange cranberry donut sort of feel. Really good, definitely recommend trying this one out. Okay, now I'm heading over to the Stage Door Cafe and I'm gonna be trying the peppermint mocha funnel cake. So let's go taste it. This is right next to the Mark Twain Riverboat Stage Door Cafe. Let's go get our goodies. <laughs> Thank you so much. How cute is this? Okay, I'm here at the Stage Door Cafe right across from the Mark Twain Riverboat. And I got this gigantic funnel cake, which <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna eat this whole thing myself. I'm gonna try to do my best. Let's give it a try. This is the peppermint mocha funnel cake. Look at that bite. Mmm, that's really good. Very pepperminty. Very pepperminty. <laughs> and this is whipped cream on top. And there is like a chocolate drizzle and some powdered sugar on top of the funnel cake too. Really, really sweet though. If you don't love sweet, you probably won't love it. <laughs> but it's good. Oh, I've never seen these before. And look how cute are these little slap bracelets. This is where they personalize the ornaments here. Look how cute is this. And they have so many ornaments to choose from. Lots of options. Look how cute these are. The bells. Here's all the Hanukkah goodies. These glasses are cute. Look at this dreidel. How cute is that? Oh, I'm loving this. Look how beautiful. Over in this area, they've got more ornaments. A lot more ornaments. <laughs> All the characters are over here. Look how cute is this. Oh my goodness. Look at these cute little ones. Oh my goodness. Did you see Baymax? Isn't he cute? 
They even have little ears over here. Aren't these so cute? This one, look how cute is this with the unicorn on it. Oh my gosh, adorable. And they've got some Monsters, Inc. Christmas stuff over here. Oh, and some Pixar things, look. How cute is this giant mug? And here's some of the Joy decor. This is really cute. So fluffy and soft. What a cute little wreath. Over here, here's a tree skirt. And they've got some of these to hang your stockings. And look at how cute these stockings are. Look how cute this one is with the peppermint stick. So cute. Some more of the goodies that they have at the candy shops. Pretty much the same ones that we saw over there at Pooh Corner. Almost the same. Did we see this one over there? I don't remember. That one's really cute though. Sort of holiday. Same cupcakes too. A little bit after 11 o'clock, let's go head over to Grand Californian and see if their holiday treat cart is open. To get to the Grand Californian Hotel from Disneyland, you just head towards downtown Disney and it's just right there in kind of the front end, a little bit in. So after that though, if you have a park hopper at one o'clock to go over to California Adventure, there is a separate entrance from the Grand Californian into that park. So that being said, if you're also in uh, California Adventure already, then you can just head straight to Grand California and there's a little entrance by Grizzly River. Road. What's nice about dropping by Grand California is you can also go shopping at the World of Disney shop over here. They always have a ton of great stuff. <laughs> I have to say, I always have to stop in there because I like to see what they have. They always have different things. So just around the corner here is the entrance to Grand California. So let's get on over there. Here we are right next to the Starbucks. So you can see the hotel is right there. And if you did stay at the Grand Californian, you would possibly be able to get one of these rooms that overlooks the downtown Disney area. Okay, so we're coming around the corner to the entrance now. So you can see Sephora and the Disney dress shop. We're just gonna go right between the two and that is where the entrance will be. So super easy. Just head on over there. And anybody can go through this entrance. Anyone can go in through to the hotel just to visit. And when you go back into the parks or if you wanna go to the downtown Disney district, you just have to go through security. And it's a really piece of cake. Super easy, one of my favorite ways to get into the parks. And let's go look at the holiday cheer. Let's look at all of the decorations. Here's the tree. And this is a perfect spot to have a rest, especially if you need some air conditioning or a nice comfy seat. They have these great sofas. The chairs to sit on, super comfy. And one of my favorite things at the Grand Californian during the holidays is the gingerbread house. Let's go take a look. Here it is. It's different every year. This one looks just like the Grand Californian. And the, look how cute is this? Oh my goodness. And this is made with food, with real food, and it does get eaten afterwards, so don't worry about waste. And there's your gingerbread Mickey. So if you're already looking for gingerbread Mickeys and other holiday treats, you could actually come over here to the Grand Californian to the holiday treat cart, which is right behind me. They have different hours every day. I believe during the week, during the holidays, it's at noon that it opens. The line can start pretty early though, so I would recommend at least a half an hour before they open if there's something that you really want. Or on the weekends, they might even open at like nine. So just check with the hotel. You can give them a call in advance or ask the front desk to see what time they open. So the holiday treat cart is just right here next to the gingerbread house. And usually the line starts here and they'll start putting things out right before opening. And here is the menu this year, the holiday treats. A lot of them are repeat treats, but some of them are new. And one of my favorites is definitely the hot apple cider. Absolutely delicious. I highly recommend trying it. You can see your Mickey gingerbread is here. 
but note the price, it is $9 at this location. So it does cost a little bit more than buying it in the parks. Just be aware of that. If you're already in the hotel checking out the beautiful sites, definitely see what they have in their little gift shop over here. I always find some really unique gifts here that I don't always see in the parks, like glassware. They've got the clothes, a lot of the clothes that are in the parks as well. And some of these other cute things that are great for gifts. You can see they've got a holiday section and see, I didn't see this one in the parks. That one is really cute. It's like a half a mug. Oh, look how cute. It's like a little spot for maybe your cookie. That is really cute. And it says the Grand Californian. So this one is specific to the hotel. So you probably wouldn't find this anywhere else except for in the hotel, but very cute Chippendale. So they also have some restaurants over here, a quick service restaurant and one that's right by the pool. And they also have this buffet here where you meet the characters. You can see Mickey is in there right now. Very cool. This one's called Storytellers Cafe. And I'm not sure if you can get on the wait list very often. Usually it's best to make a reservation in advance. As you can see this way, we've got the GCH Craftsman Bar and the Grill. And so there is a place to grab a drink at the bar. And then there's also a quick service and really tasty food area over here. And this is right next to the park entrance back into California Adventure, which is located right here. And see this, this short little line through security. The line's not too bad in the morning either. So <laughs> if you're staying here, you are very, very lucky. So here's the bar over here. Great little spot to relax. And right over here is Craftsman Grill. By the way, there's some good restrooms here. Those are some of my favorites. So let's go see the Craftsman Grill. Let's see if there's any holiday goodies in here, which sometimes there are unique ones. So let's go check it out. Oh, yep, I see it already. So it looks like we've got a cupcake with a Christmas tree. And these are sort of festive, but they kind of just look like regular breakfast items. But look, this one is a snowman. And it's a donut. And they do have the holiday traveler tumbler, traveler, holiday travel tumbler with lanyard here as well. And then some other goodies too. It's also a great spot if you want some fresh fruit or looking for something a little bit unique. They even have the cheeses here, ice cream, snacks, breakfast, candy, chips, all kinds of good stuff. And over here they also have little milks and juices for the kids. That's great. And individual sodas and waters also. And they do have a full menu too. So here's the menu. You can look at this in the app as well. But they have some really delicious nachos and a whole bunch of other good stuff. And they even have pizza. Here is the line at 11.30. It looks like there may be one person waiting. And they're starting to set up and bring everything out. And I see the carts come in with all the goodies. Goodies are here. You know what that means. Here they are. Gingerbread Nikki's. Look how cute. All kinds of goodies. We've got the Christmas boxes too. So it's 10 minutes until the holiday um, treat cart opens here at Grand Californian. And the line is all the way back to um, the very, very back outside the door. So just keep that in mind. Got macarons up here. Down here is the Christmas cookie box. Got the Christmas cookie, the snowman, and the poinsettia cookie here, and the rice crispy treat. It's all the gingerbread Mickeys you could ever want. And these sweet potato loaf. I've got my hot apple cider with Grand Marnier. Cheers. Mm. On a cold night during a Disneyland holiday, grab yourself a hot apple cider and come sit over here by the fire. Does that look cozy? Okay, now that I've had my cider, let's go back to Disneyland and look at some shows.
to California Adventure to do our Sip and Savor Pass with Festival Holidays. I just got my Sip and Savor Pass and you can get it right here at the booth uh, right before you start the carts here, right across from the waterfall here, right after the entrance, kind of after the shops here. And it's $59 for non-pass holders and $54 for pass holders. Grab my little tasting passport here. There you go. And this is going to have all the information I need. So using my Sip and Savor Pass, I'm going to show you some of the most popular items that people suggest to try. You get nine all together, and they're smaller portions than the regular ones that you pay for. But I'm going to go ahead and go along this route. I'm going to put it in the description as well so you can see the route that I take. And that way you can kind of plan ahead if that's something that you want to try as well. Let's get started. So my first stop is going to be Holiday Duets, and that's right next to the Sip and, Sip and Savor Pass booth there. So this will be the first stop. Okay, so we're here at Holiday Duets, and I'm going to be trying the Southern Mac and Cheese. Let's see. It looks pretty tasty. Let's get a good bite here. And I'm starving, so I hope it's good. Mmm. That's good. It's got a little kick to it, too. Like Cajun spice. That's good. Really good. Okay, so this southern mac and cheese. It has Cajun style mac and cheese with andouille sausage and spiced panko crunch. So it does have a little bit of a crunch and it's really very filling and heavy, but very delicious. Spicy, a little bit crunchy, good mac and cheese, I recommend. So a couple notes about the Sip and Savor Pass. It doesn't work on alcohol and I highly recommend trying as many entrees as you can, although the desserts are really tasty as well, but it gives you more of a bang for your buck. You also don't have to use it just at the carts. You can use it at some of the restaurants as well, like Smoke Jumpers and Sonoma Terrace. And you can actually go on the app and check the dining locations. And if you click on it, it'll say Sip and Savor if there's something offered there on the Sip and Savor uh, plan here. So don't just stop at the carts. Go look at everything. <laughs> Our next stop is going to be Vision of Sugar Plums. And I'm going to be getting the Twix Tart. So let's go head over there and see how that one is. So here we are at Visions of Sugar Plums. And this is where we're headed next. And it's just a short little walk away from where we were just at. So right on course. Okay, now from Visions of Sugar Plums, we're trying the chocolate bourbon flavored tart made with Twix cookie bar pieces. Layers of caramel and chocolate bourbon flavored loose made with Twix cookie bar pieces. Let's give it a try. Instead of using a fork, I'm just gonna pick it up and eat it. Oh, that's really good. That's a good one. Mm. So good. If you love Twix, you're gonna have to get this one. It's got a really nice Twix flavor. The chocolate, milk chocolate mousse, and the caramel with the crunchy pieces on top. Oh my gosh, it is so good. Definitely give this one a try. Okay, next we're gonna be heading to Winter Sliderland. Hold up. <laughs> next we're gonna be heading to Winter Sliderland. Let's go. Definitely grab one of the Festival of Holidays tasting passports. This is going to give you all the information that you need on where everything is located and what you can get with your Sip and Savor Pass. Or if you just want to buy things individually, all of the details are here in this passport. I also have a legend down here that will show you exactly what holiday it is that these items are celebrating. If it's vegetarian, plant-based, kid-friendly, or if you can get it on the Sip and Savor Pass. California Adventure definitely gets busy in the afternoon during the holidays. Okay, so from Winter Sliderland, oh my gosh, why can't I say that? From Winter Sliderland, I'm trying the Holiday Ham Slider, and that is with cranberry bacon, jam, and gruyere on a salt and pepper brioche bun. Let's give it a try. Definitely gives me that holiday ham taste. Kind of like if I put leftovers like my holiday ham on a roll the next day with some cranberry sauce on top. That's exactly what it tastes like to me. Really good though. Also, I'm sitting over here at Sonoma Terrace right now and this is where Mostly Kosher will be playing later today as well. Live music and I hear it's amazing. So I'll also be getting my next Sip and Savor pass from Sonoma Terrace right over here. And the Colombian empanadas next here at Sonoma Terrace. Colombian style beef empanada served with ahi verde and cabbage salad, tossed with cilantro dressing and escoviche. 
let's try it. <laughs> Let's try it by itself. Mm. That is good. Let me try it with some of the sauce. Mm. Mm. That's a good one. You gotta try this. Next, we're gonna go to favorite things just right around the corner. Of course, I have to stop and look at all of the merch. <laughs> There's those cute bags again. Oh my gosh, they're just so cute. And over here, they've got different gear because this is festival holidays. So they've got like the cookie jars and some spirit jerseys. I love that jacket. Look at this jersey, how cute. Right in front of Little Mermaid is favorite thing. And it's uh, just about two o'clock, so it's a perfect time for a cold brew coffee. Look at this beauty. Oh my goodness. I'm so ready for this churro cold brew latte. Let's see, what is the description? So it's Joffrey's coffee and tea, Mexican coffee, Dermarara sugar, cinnamon sugar, vanilla bean, and almond milk, garnished with churro syrup, whipped cream, and chocolate toffee crumbles. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's give this a taste test. Wow, that's tasty. I'm gonna put the straw in. <laughs> I can see why they give you a straw. I'm gonna mix it up a little. That, that is really good. It's not too sweet. Definitely has that cinnamon sugar churro flavor. Really, really good. This is definitely a must try for sure. And this is again from Favorite Things and it's the churro cold brew latte, non-alcoholic. Now that I've got my cold brew, let's go check out Viva Navidad. It's about to start in just a couple minutes. Let's go. This is a really cute spot here for the kids to do a little craft. You can stop over here and they can color something. Really cute idea. So I'm right here by Jumpin' Jellyfish and there is a spot where you can stand and watch the Viva Navidad show. They have some tape on the ground down here and a cast member will tell you when it's okay to enter the little viewing area over here. So it's right next to the Bayside Brews, so it's kind of like right in the middle of the line there, but you'll see it when you come over. So the 215 showing of the Viva Navidad parade got canceled because of the crazy wind, but that's okay because they have multiple showings today, so we'll go back in a little while and check it out. over to Mary Mashups to get this mac and cheese I keep hearing so much about. All right, here's the Carnitas mac and cheese from Mary Mashup. I've heard a lot about this mac and cheese, so let's give it a try. Mm. We're a little spicy. Mm. That's good. A little bit spicy though, but very flavorful. I like the cilantro on top. That's a nice touch. It's got these little crunchy pieces on it. It's good. Yeah, I like this one. Mmm. Another tip to note, when you get your sip and savor pass, you'll see on the back, it's got all of the locations. Whoop, there we go. All the locations and what exactly you can order from each one. These are the carts and on the other side, we've got the restaurants too. So I will put some pictures here so you can see them better. But that way you're not confused about what you can or can't order. Pretty neat. So now I'm gonna be heading over to Paradise Garden Grill. And it was a toss up between the abonegas or the gingerbread cake. 
I'm feeling kind of like dessert, so I think I'm gonna get the gingerbread cake. The albondigas though is impossible albondigas, so I really wanted to try that, but I think I'm gonna go with the gingerbread this time. So heading over from Mary Mashups, we're just gonna head straight down and go over to Paradise Garden Grill. You're fine, no worries. <laughs> Here we go, the gingerbread cake, and this is at the cart right outside of Paradise Garden Grill. Look how cute. Can you see that? <laughs> All right, let's give it a try. Gingerbread cake. This spoon is not working very well for this, <laughs> let me tell you. Okay, so it is like a cake consistency. That is good. Oh my goodness. It's like a brown sugar topping, like a, almost like a molasses. Yeah, it is actually. Let me read you the description. Gingerbread cake topped with a molasses glaze, gingerbread man, and sprinkles. So yeah, molasses glaze. Oh my gosh, this is so good. Full, so I might go over to Smoke Jumpers here in a little bit and try that loaded latka, or I might go to Terran Treats and try that, I think it's a, like a hot cocoa churro. Yeah, hot chocolate churro. So I have some options. <laughs> I don't really know what I'm gonna be doing, but they do close early tonight, so I'm gonna have to decide pretty quickly here. Uh, they close in about an hour and a half. So let's see what I decide. And here at Redwood Creek Challenge Trail, this is where they have the other Santa spot. So let's go check it out. Here we go. Let's go check it out. So, very similar to the character meet and greets that are here, like when Raya was here. So there's the line that starts right at the bottom of the stairs here. I've got a little book to sign. How cute is that? Meet Santa. Right over there is where you're gonna meet Santa and take pictures. After you're done meeting Santa, there's the exit right over here. And that's where you can go to the other cart, Treats for Santa. Let's go check it out. So here's the Treats for Santa cart. And they've got these cute little tables. I believe the kids can decorate cookies here. So this is a little cookie kit. You get some icing and sprinkles. So fun. How fun. I love it. So much good stuff. So it looks like they have some special activities too. So they've got the map with all of these symbols on it. How cute is this? Over here at Redwood Creek, they have the Santa's Holiday Visit scavenger hunt. So you go around and look at all the areas here and find the missing letters to fill in and solve the puzzle. Here we go. So there's little presents. We have to find little presents and fill in the letters. This would be so fun for the kids. All right, let's look around. Oh, I see a present over here. Look at that. How cute. So then we can write in an E under anything that has the green present. There should be one. Oh, there it is. I found the blue one. All right, I've solved it. Let's see what we get. Thank you so much. <laughs> Look how cute. And they have two options. This is adorable. I love it. Look how cute he lights up. Look how festive. At Smoke Jumpers Grill is where you can get that loaded latka with the brisket. But I'm kind of feeling like a churro. So let's head over to, what is it called? Terran Treats. Just taking the route from Grizzly Peak over to Hollywood Land over here. And then we'll just cut across to Avengers Campus and go get our last treat of the night here on our Sip and Savor Pass. Now I am told that they do run out of items on the Festival of Holidays cart. So if there's something that you really, really want, you should definitely head to that cart first and get that. So. You can make a plan all you want, but if you can't get what you want, then it's not any fun. So yeah, just try to get to it early if you can. The new booth. <laughs> Haven't tried anything here. I'll probably try some things next time. How cute is that? 
And now they have a Wakanda Forever spot with a really fun photo spot back here in front of a Black Panther. A stop. Hot chocolate churro. Okay, this is the last thing on my sip and savor pass. I got the hot chocolate churro. It's got these little mini marshmallows on it. Look how fun. Let's give it a try. Mm. That's really good. Very chocolatey. Mm. It's like a hazelnut chocolate. That's good. It's not too sweet. Okay, now that I've been eating this churro for a minute, I do get a little bit of spice, so it's kind of like uh, a spice after the fact. <laughs> so just be aware. This is usually how our holiday parties end up. Avengers, how about we assemble over here for the Christmas card photo? I'll be heading back to Disneyland in a few minutes. I'm going to try to find a nice spot for the tree lighting at five o'clock. And It's a Small World will be lit up at 5.15. So let's see if we can do both. <laughs> special events going on and they close the park early so just keep that in mind when you're making reservations. So I don't recommend sitting and waiting for any parade or lighting ceremony. There's lots of space to just kind of stand and see pretty good views from everywhere so it's not really necessary to sit right up front. So on the count of three, everyone please join together and say happy holidays. Ready? One, two, three. Happy, happy holidays! holidays. Just saw the tree lighting and now we're heading over to It's a Small World to see it light up for the holidays too. Also, I am told that a good location for the nighttime parade is actually right near It's a Small World. So let's go see if that's true. One, two, three. So I know the castle looks like it's lit up behind me, but they actually have a castle lighting at 7.30 and 8.30 every night. So uh, they'll do a whole presentation and like relight the castle. After 7.30, they kind of uh, turn it back to the regular lighting and then at 8.30 do it again. So <laughs> kind of a fun extra thing to do. To come back and get my cookie pretzel. I'm from here, so it's really rare. definitely didn't get everything done that they have to offer. They have so many things for the holidays, so definitely look around at everything they have. I even found some things that I haven't even heard about yet, so just keep that in mind that this is hard to do in one day, so you'll have plenty of things to do. Thank you so much for watching today. If you like this video, please give me a little thumbs up, subscribe to see more, and I'll see y'all next time. Have a great day.